Hey guys, it's Paul here, and today we're gonna make this mid-century modern concrete coat rack. So the concrete is the base, and then we have the wooden dowels to make this coat rack. And all the materials used will be listed in the description box below. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and let's get started. I was inspired to make this mid-century modern concrete coat rack when I saw something fairly similar at West Elm selling for $250. It was made out of wood and the base was wood and had a dark brown stain to it and gold tips. But I wanted to make something lighter uh, and using um, more inexpensive materials such as the concrete and white paint instead. So it's a much lighter, airy type of design. Let's first start by making the concrete base. To make the concrete base, I used a frisbee as the mold. And what I did was I cut a piece of PVC pipe out that was the depth of the frisbee. And then I hot glue gunned it in the center of the frisbee. The PVC pipe is there for the holder of the main dowel rod. And what you wanna do now is get concrete mix mix it up and pour it into the frisbee and you want to make sure you want to get all the bubbles out to get a clean smooth surface once the concrete is dried and so you want to wait for the concrete to dry for about 14 days is what I did I initially took it out at day 4 and it was still pretty damp and it just crumbled but at 14 days it was rock solid next you can use a handsaw to cut your dowel rods that will be your pegs on the main dowel and you can choose the depth you like I did about four or five inches per peg to drill your holes in the dowel rod for the pegs you want to use spade bits and what I did was I worked my way up from the small, smallest size spade I had to the spade size of the peg I spaced the pegs around the main dowel about 6 inches apart and I kept rotating around the dowel to mark drill holes. My main dowel rod did not fit in the PVC pipe exactly, I just had to sand it down a little bit to get a snug fit. When I was ready, I used weld bond glue to attach it to the PVC pipe. Then I filled the peg hole with glue and put the peg in and used the sawdust I created to fill in the gaps. This is an optional step. I used concrete sealer on the concrete base to make it a little bit more shiny and to prevent the concrete from shedding. Next, I wanted to add some painted tips with white paint. I used blue painter's tape to wrap around the dowels and I painted them white with primer. I used Danish oil natural color the base here is the concrete and it has 3 4 inch plywood at the bottom. I did this to give a more substantial look and to weigh the base down a little bit more because the frisbee concrete base was a little thin um, and so what I did here, I'll tip it over so you can see, uh, I added right here a 2 a half inch screw right into the main dowel in the middle and that holds the whole thing together. That's how you make this mid-century modern coat rack with a concrete base. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And remember, you can always do it yourself, but make sure you use your power tools safely.